of what? In this video, we'll be going over how to use uh, Godot 4.0 to make a 2D top-down project. Assets files for this will be linked in the description below, so you can check it out. Okay, great. So first things first, you're going to see this 3D scene. We don't need it. We're going to create a 2D scene right over here. So 2D, and there we have it. Uh, we want to save, so give it a name. I like to make a folder with all the scenes in it, so we're going to do that. And inside this folder, we're going to say um, main game or main scene. You can also rename the top folder or the top root and like that. So a little bit of controls. Uh, what you do is you press the middle mouse button, hold it, and then that's how you move around. You can select things with left click, right click to see uh, options. So you can add notes here. You can also add notes in this explorer. So right click, then you can add notes. This is your file system. You can see all the files that you have and you can edit notes using uh, these controls. This is how you move it, rotate, scale, and yeah. Okay, next up, we're gonna be importing the part assets. So after you downloaded it and after you unzip it, uh, basically you have a folder here. You're gonna take that folder, you're gonna drag it over and you drag it over to the file system here. So after you drag it over, it should Load a little bit. There we go. And yeah. So we have this here, and this has all the assets. So you can have character assets, you can have backgrounds. And we're going to start by making a uh, tile map. So a tile map is basically a way of displaying tiles. It's really easy to create. Right click it at childhood. You want to search for tile map. So tile map. Press enter and it creates a tile map for you. It also shows up this little screen here, which you can uh, see your tile sets and your tile maps. So every tile map needs a tile set and that's what draws the uh, tiles. So on the properties tab, you can see that this is empty. So you want to click it, make a new one. Now you have a tile set. You can also see another uh, menu show up on the bottom here. And this is where you edit the tile set. So. Let's actually go over here and let's drag in a uh, tile. So we're going to go to backgrounds, go to tile sets, and we're going to select a couple of these. So let's do field. Uh, yes, you want to automatically modify it. I'm going to go to nature. Yes. And let's do water. So you have a couple of these tile sets. What we can do now is edit the tile. So. What you want to do is you want to go here, make sure everything looks correct. If there's anything that needs changing, you can use the margins to change it, use separation to change it. But since this asset pack is already made for Godot, there's nothing to be changed. After all that's done, you want to go to tile map. You want to select some of the tiles. For example, let's say you want to draw a field. You just select here. But then you go over here and it automatically paces itself. Now in the case that tile map doesn't show up, what you can do is you can go to tile map, right click, sub resources, tile set, and this should pop up automatically. Otherwise, you just have fun around with it, uh, changing all stuff. Uh, you can draw a rectangle here, and that'll create a grassy area. So now you have a square of grass, but you added some detail to it. So, an easy way to do that is to look for the flowers. So, you're going to select it. And if you were to just add it around, you'd just be pasting uh, just these flowers in there. But that doesn't really do any help. So what we're going to do is we're going to do random scattering, change that to something like 20 to 30. And then all we need to do is select the rectangle, select all of it, and then it'll automatically place flowers and grass at random intervals. But you see a problem where if you place a flower or a bush, it overrides the grass texture. And to do that, we just need to add another layer. So to add another layer, you want to select the tile map, go to layers, add element, and now you have multiple layers. We name this in the, uh, like back. You say foreground, and this will be background. Then you go to uh, your tile map again, select the foreground, go to here, and then just stuff in so if you go 
uh, out of there, you can see that the grass textures are layered on top of it. You can also add hills if you want. So if you're going to add hills, make sure you turn off the scattering, go to uh, pencil mode. And then you want to make sure you select the uh, select mode and then you paste some hills in, make sure you're in the foreground. And there you have it, you have some hills. So this is the end product. We have a little grassy area. Um, as a general suggestion, what I do recommend is don't put anything on the edges. So if you want to remove something, what you do is you select paint. Uh, it's good to have only one square and you just right click. Right click to remove. There you go. So if you look at the final product, you can see a decent uh, grassy area. Right, thanks for watching. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to add player curves to the project, so make sure you stay in tune.